Today, the rain helped tame the flames of a fire at the Bell Road Church of the Nazarene. It broke out shortly after one o'clock this afternoon. Luckily, no one was inside when it started. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has more on what happened. Jason. Well, Shannon, investigators don't know how the fire broke out, but they battled it for a while as members of the congregation and even the pastor watched from outside. New at 10 tonight, that church congregation may not have a building anymore, but they're thankful they still have the people. Every Sunday, folks attending the Bell Road Church of the Nazarene come away with a life lesson. They had service this morning. And this Sunday. And we got a call. We are getting several calls on it. Was no different. Structure fire, Bravo 6. We just saw all the smoke. Flames are visible. We see that it's a church in the community that's on fire. Got copies. And we know the minister very well. That's unreal. We were just in there. But this is a slightly tougher lesson for Pastor Brian Russell to teach. We're not gonna be bitter, we're not gonna blame God. It's just something that happened. I mean, I'm seeing parts of it just fall to the ground. They're tearing it down now, they're, they're knocking the walls down. This fire is still raging up underneath. As destructive as the fire was. The back area is completely gone. The front where the steeple is, is completely gone. Look over there. It saved a symbol. Look, for some reason it, it didn't hurt, hurt the cross and so they salvaged it and brought it over here. The fact that the cross survived is a sign that, you know, God is going to help us continue on. Continuing on without their building, but with their sense of humor. And she said, uh, the church is on fire. She said, yeah, we had a real good church service this morning. <laughs> She said, you should have been there. She said, no, it's burning down. Despite loss, Pastor Russell says, a church can always move forward in high spirits. The cross is what it's all about. That's our symbol. If it wasn't for the cross of Christ, we would not be here. We wouldn't have a church. The pastor says other congregations have already reached out to them for assistance and a new place to worship until they can build a new church. Shannon. All right, thanks so much, Jason. Well, this isn't the first time the congregation has faced a church fire. The pastor says the group also dealt with the fire back in 1977.